Hey guys, it's Joanna, Naturally Motivated Lady. Welcome back. There are a lot of benefits to having someone else do your hair, but in this video, I want to share with you five reasons that I chose to start and maintain my own locks. And this can help you to figure out if you'd like to go to a stylist for your lock installation and maintenance or DIY, do it yourself. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content. So this video is by no means to tell people to never use a professional stylist. I just want to share with you five of the main reasons that I chose to do my own hair. First is having peace of mind. Being a DIYer and doing your own hair gives you a peace of mind that regardless of what's going on and no matter where you are, your hair can still get done because you know how to do it yourself. Y'all know the situation that we've all currently been facing where businesses like hair salons were shut down and this left a lot of people not knowing what to do about their hair. In fact, I was pretty nervous for one of my friends who had just got her sister locks installed maybe a few weeks prior to all of this happening and I'm sure she had to wait longer than she had hoped for to get a retightening. So the point that I'm making here is that if you know how to do your own hair, it's one less thing to have to worry about when circumstances change where you cannot go to a stylist. And that's why I say it gives me a peace of mind to know that I can do my own hair. A second reason to DIY is that it saves money. <laughs> It took me about four days to install my braid locks. It did cost time that I set aside, but I didn't have to pay a penny to start my locks and I don't have to pay nobody <laughs> for reties or regular retwist. And of course that keeps more money in my pocket. The third benefit is convenience and freedom from being dependent on a stylist or anybody else to do your hair. Y'all, it's 2020 and there is so much information out there on how to style locks, on how to start them, how to style them, and so forth. There are YouTube channels like the one that you're watching now. And just last month, I released a book filled with all kinds of useful tips and information on how to start and maintain locks. And I'll be sure to put a link to Life Lessons and Locks in the description box below. So if you're looking to get your locks started off right and to grow them long and healthy, all the information you need is definitely available for you to self-maintain if you desire to do so. And go ahead please and share in the comments if you started your locks yourself or if you self-maintain. All right, so the fourth reason is that you have full control over the technique that is used on your head. I can't stand and I refuse to tolerate my hair being done too tightly. I don't like it. But when I retie my own hair, I never have to worry about it being done too tightly. I also have control over the size that I started my locks and was sure not to put in too many because I knew that I would be doing my own reties. So I didn't want like three, four, five hundred locks. And the fifth benefit of being a DIYer is that starting and maintaining my own locks has made my lock journey a lot more personal. And this might sound strange, but it's like, oh wow, I, I started these myself. I didn't know at the time if I could do it, but I did. So doing my own hair, it kind of gives me a sense of accomplishment in regards to my hair. So there you have it. These are five benefits of being a DIYer and doing it myself rather than going to a stylist to start and maintain my locks. So don't forget to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.